got another story for us this week, so you know what to do. Get comfy in those seats and let's read our story. So this week's story is called Gideon Puts Out a Fleece. After Joshua died, the Israelites were without a leader. Midian was the land east of the Red Sea, and for seven years the Midianites ruled the Israelites. They stole their grains and animals, so the Israelites had to hide in caves to escape them. An angel came to a man called Gideon with a message from God. I have chosen you to save Israel, said God. You will be a mighty warrior. Gideon was shocked. My tribe is the smallest, he said, and I am the least important person in it. Why pick me? With you as leader, the Israelites will defeat the Midianites, promised God. Gideon called all the other tribes to help him in the battle. But he was still worried, so he prayed to God. I'll put out a woolen fleece tonight, said Gideon. If the fleece is wet tomorrow morning and the floor around it is dry, I will know you mean what you say. The next morning the fleece was soaking wet and the floor was dry, but Gideon was still nervous. I'll put out the fleece again tonight, Lord. If it stays dry while the floor becomes wet, I'll know for sure that you want me to save Israel. Sure enough, the fleece stayed dry, so Gideon prepared for battle. Gideon had more than 30,000 men when God said to him, With this many men, they will think it's their own bravery that makes you win, not the help of God. Send most of them home. So Gideon was left with only 300 men to fight against the huge Midianite army. He gave each man a torch, a jar and a trumpet. The men carried the burning torches in the pottery jars so their enemies couldn't see the flames. Creep up on our enemies silently while they're sleeping, ordered Gideon. When I give the word, smash the jars and wave your flaming torches. Blow your trumpets and yell, for the Lord and for the Lord and Gideon, and we'll be sure to win. When the Midianites woke up and heard the shrieking of the trumpets and the yells of the men and saw the flaming torches, they panicked because they thought they were surrounded. They ran away, even attacking each other in the confusion. Gideon and his small band of Israelites had won the battle with the help of God. So in that story, we learned that God helps us in our battles. And the next time that you're facing something difficult, um, God can give you the wisdom to know the right thing to say and the right thing to do. Isn't that amazing? So I'll see you all next week for our next story. Bye everyone.